Well, it's typical for conservatives to frame the argument as some words prove that a person is an extremist. You know, it's more a projection of their own extremism. You know, the words redistribution of wealth are evil only in the minds of free market fundamentalists, libertarians, who believe that any intervention on the part of the government um, in terms of taxes is evil. Any interference the government plays in the free market is evil. And that's their opinion, period. That's their ideology. And they are fundamentalists and radicals about that. They, are, uh, they don't make any exceptions. And all you need is to have those <laughs> three words, redistribution of wealth, and they are dead set against you, period. Okay? It doesn't matter the circumstances or anything else. Now, to someone who's more pragmatic, redistribution of wealth is only one part of a much larger problem, and that is the distribution of wealth. Okay? Now, that's not something libertarians or free market fundamentalists are willing to talk about. See, in their mind, the market can, <coughs> can create no evil. The market does no wrong when it comes to distribution of wealth, okay? But I don't see it that way at all, because the market is easily manipulated. It's, it's manipulated by cartels. It's manipulated through market power, through all kinds of mechanisms, government collusion, the, the power that major corporations have in order to manipulate the market to their benefit should not be underestimated. But libertarians do this constantly. They never question the market mechanisms that give rise to the distribution of income to begin with. Whereas someone more pragmatic, someone more progressive, must, okay? It's part of a larger equation. And part of that equation involves numerous things. It involves uh, social justice, okay? Equal opportunity, plus it involves the robustness of the economy because when you give all the money to the wealthy class they take it out of circulation and it undermines the economy and we've seen this happen what triggered the downturn was the housing bubble burst okay but the long-term effects this was something that was long in coming and only needed a trigger the reason why it's going to last so long is because Basically, jobs are being outsourced. All the investments are being made. The, the money that we're distributing to the wealthy is being taken and being placed outside of the United States economy. They're investing in foreign countries. They're offshoring jobs. They are investing in anywhere but the United States, okay? So the benefits for working in the United States and the, the inequities, the, the disparities in the distribution of wealth that we allow in this country is not helping the economy at all. It's hurting it, okay? Because the lower classes are the ones we need to consume. The economy is circulation, okay? And if all the money goes to the top to go out of the country, it's not being circulated. The economy withers, okay? It's pretty simple, all right? So instead of harping about redistribution of wealth, it would be entertaining if any libertarian or any free market fundamentalist out there would entertain the idea of there being some distribution of wealth that has to be settled equitably. And that the market does not necessarily arrive at the ideal solution by itself because of powerful influences that distort the market uh, through collusion, through monopoly, through market power, through all sorts of mechanisms, the big corporations, for all they talk about competition, they spend most of their time trying to eliminate competition. So that's food for thought. Uh, as far as making a recess appointment, George Bush did constantly. And the Senate has been filibustering all his appointments. It's about time he did something, okay? And I want to give the guy a try. He's not some right-wing ideologue, which is why Republicans hate him, okay? They hate anyone who isn't a right-wing ideologue, <laughs> period, all right? And they brand them as the opposite extreme because
that's how they think. They think in black and white. They don't think in terms of degrees or that there's any kind of continuum. No, no. That is uh, far too advanced for their style of thought. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, that's all I'm going to say for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.